You know they see red, blue, yellow. You know they see them for Ghana. Now Nigeria could display the country Hello, with those things. Once again, once again. Today too, I am here to share with you some experiences of some Nigerians that are living in Ghana. You know, sometimes some people um, come under the comment section and they are, they are like, stop talking about Nigeria and all that. Listen, there is a reason why I am sharing some of these videos. And to be fair, these videos basically, they are already in the public. They are already on social media. So you're making it seem like it is something that I just brought from wherever and just decided to broadcast it. These videos are already on the internet. They have massive views, you know, but there is actually a reason why I share some of these videos. I will tell you after we watch these videos. So let's go and watch these videos, come back and talk about it. Ever since I came to Nigeria for vacation, it has been like a hell. The little basic things of life you cannot even enjoy in Nigeria. Every day I have to pay two cities. 200 naira to charge my phone every day how can you live in a society when you wake up every day you think of your food you think of how to buy foil how to use generic why can't we enjoy the little basic things of life not everybody have the money to afford those expensive life it's our time the nigeria president or the governor the politician try to freeze the lights at least our mothers are suffering. In the night, they, they have to use torch. Not everybody has a son that will own generator for you. What if you are living alone as a mother? What if you have a mother, an old woman living alone? You want him to look for somebody to own the gen? Nigeria is actually suffering. Ghana is better than Nigeria 100%. I'm telling you, Nigeria is in a big shade, bro. Forget the words we see on social media. Nigeria is in a big shit. Please, our politician, please, president, please, anyone is in power to make the country better. Let's enjoy the little basic things of life. Not everybody have the money to buy solar, to buy these things you think they can afford it. Not everyone. Our mothers are suffering. Please, Nigerians. Of course, I am a foreigner that live in Ghana. I'll never see any fuel scarcity once in Ghana. Of course, I am a foreigner that live in Ghana. I've never saw anywhere the cities queue in the fuel station with keg that they want to buy fuel. Of course, I am a foreigner that live in Ghana. I've never saw any fuel black market in the roadside. Of course, I am a foreigner that live in Ghana. You can leave your ass 2 p.m., 2 a.m. in the midnight to anywhere you want to go without no police guiding you everywhere is secure. Of course, I am a foreigner living in Ghana. Once they are light off, give the five minutes, they will bring you back. And if the light pass one hour, two hour, something is wrong. And before six hour or they go break, they will bring the light back. Activated government. Of course, I am a foreigner who live in Ghana. Ghana cities, you know, they do cottage, you know, they see red, blue, yellow, you know, they see them for Ghana. And Nigeria could spread the country with those things. Of course, I am a foreigner who live in Ghana. They are Ghana police, you not know, they oppress the cities like the way they kid that way for answers. Of course, I am a foreigner who live in Ghana. Their deepest village have light. Of course, I am a foreigner who live in Ghana. They are worsted village half Thai road. Of course, I am a foreigner who live in Ghana. You will never hear anything like Boko Haram, Fulani Esme, Minitant in Ghana. Of course, I am a foreigner who live in Ghana. You will never hear that Tisha go on strike, say government not repay day. Of course, I am a foreigner who live in Ghana. The Ghana government, they are very serious with their law. Once you thief in the cash, they will sentence you 30, 40 years in prison. And if you go rip, that one I want 60 years in prison. That's why Ghana is very secure. Of course, I am a foreigner who live in Ghana. Once you beat traffic light, if police cash you, they will send you to court. If they charge you, they do not pay, you are going to jail. Of course, I am a foreigner who live in Ghana. 
They know they protest for their government, just like with the Abusu. As I dig and I like this, I get my ECG number. If I don't have light, I call them. They will answer me. As I dig and I like this, if my water is not working, I call water board. They come to fix it in my house. As I dig and I like this, I get police number. In case I see any dubious movement at night, I they call them for night. No be capping you know, for night. I they call police. In fact, police they even give us lifts. If they like stranded for some kind of places, no be capping, no be lie. So waiting at the try talk be see all these attributes are the attribute where Europe get. Ghana get all of them. Light day two four seven. Security day two four seven. Their current money beats Nigerian money. Uh, so with this few point of mine, I hope I'll be able to convince my Nigerians and not confuse them <laughs> that Ghana is a Europe of Nigeria. So you watching these videos. What was running through your mind? For me, me being a Ghanaian, absolutely. You might think we talk about some of these things, we joke about it on social media and we tease Nigerians and all that with it, especially the light. But hey, to be honest with you, these are things that I deep, deep down, I am not happy about. Because let's be honest, Charlie, Nigeria is one of the countries in Africa that if they get some few things right, some few things right let me tell you that country can even compete with america i am telling you and i'm being honest because with the population and with the smart people that they have or the kind of people that they have in that country i'm telling you the country can be one of the best countries in the world it's just unfortunate hearing its citizens complain about basic basic things it's just sad it's just sad Listen, I talk about some of these videos because I have Nigerian friends. I always say this. And sometimes when we are talking and they talk, they'll tell you what they go through as Nigerians in Nigeria. It's crazy. It's crazy. So I am here. I want us all of us to talk about it. I always say Nigerians should speak up. And I've seen a lot of Nigerians speaking up. Trust me, that is the only way. Because recently, I heard in Abia State, the governor there has been able to install about 118 megawatts for that state alone. You understand? You know Nigeria has 36 states, and that state has been able to do that. So when that happened, are you going to tell me it is not because of what people have been saying on social media and all that? They are listening and definitely I know one day, one day, they will do something about it. Listen, one day, one day, they will do something about it and gradually it has started. I'll be one of the people that will be so happy to see or to hear that Nigeria has a 24 hour electricity. I will be so happy. And I know definitely it is going to happen because people have been complaining, talking about it day in, day out and all that. So it is something that I know definitely, most definitely it is going to be solved. Cause I saw in the news that the president of Nigeria after the Abia state governor has been able to do this, the president of Nigeria assembled or guarded 34 governors in nigeria from 34 states that they should go to abia state to study what the governor in abia state has been able to do and definitely if all these uh, governors that have gone there looking at what the abia state governor has been able to do they come back and they implement the same thing let's give them like about a few years i'm telling you they will surely do it or they can definitely do it. They can definitely do it. I want to see that. Like, I'm so eager to see something like that. I don't want to, like, let's say by next year, hear any Nigerian come online and being like, we don't have lights. When we go, we charge our phones. Like, you need to pay 200 Naira before you can charge your phone. This and that, this is too much, man. Is too much. Nigeria is a country that is very rich, and when it decides to do something, I'm telling you, Nigeria can do something. Like I'm, I mean, Nigeria can do something. 
I don't know for some of the Nigerians that sometimes some Nigerians who are in Ghana start complaining and they will be like defending kind of man you are facing this problem and your fellow Nigerian is talking about it and you are defending you guys should stop this because the politicians they don't care about you they don't care about you so the only uh, medium that you have is social media you just have to talk about it and gradually gradually i am telling you this thing will be solved this thing will be solved these things will be solved these problems that imagine if nigeria has been able to solve the the few insecurities that they have the light issue and have a good leader i'm telling you I am telling you today, Nigeria is going to be one of the best countries that even every African country will envy. Because when it comes to even the uh, standard of living, it's very low. Compar comparing that to Ghana, it's very low. So who wouldn't want to live in such a country or within an economy like that? Let's talk about it. The politicians don't care. African politicians don't care. The only tool that we have is to do what? Vote them out and also talk about our challenges on social media that's the only way thank you thank you so much for watching